Today's video is how to reflash to a previous firmware version. So let's get started. Reason for today's video is because we currently have a firmware version that has been reported to have bugs and also there's some other features that users weren't happy with. So they have actually pulled the firmware off of the Spectrum website. Also, when you go to update your radio, if you look at check for updates, you won't see a current version to update to. I stumbled upon this earlier when I was looking at the RC groups discussion for the NX transmitters and Andy had made the comment that he had to pull the 3.07 firmware off the website. I'll put that post in the bottom right hand corner. That way you can see the post numbers. So if you want to go to the thread and start following along, you'll have an idea where this actually started. So I went to my account Spectrum RC page and noticed that you can no longer go on there and download 3.07. And also, as I mentioned, you can't even go on the radio and see a newer update. Some of the issues that have been brought up, main one being the new RF screen where it shows red, yellow, or green depending on the condition of the RF signal and it stays up for about five seconds. It would take up the entire screen so it would block out stuff that you may want to take a quick glance at on the screen. Another issue that popped up was the audio vents are now being choppy sounding or it's gargles slash muffled. There's, there's just some interruptions with the audio vents. So just a couple things I had noticed. However, the main thing is they had a bug reported and that's what ultimately decided to pull this firmware. So here's how you're going to flash it back to a previous firmware. Push enter. Scroll down to system setup, go to yes. Scroll down to transfer SD card. It's going to say model import slash export typically. Push enter, scroll over to special functions, go to options, update firmware. Then it's gonna show you the firmwares on your SD card. Mine's only got 3.06 because I deleted 3.07 off the card and I've already done the update. However, you would just scroll down, click enter on the 3.06.02 firmware and it's gonna go through the normal flash process. Two things you wanna remember. One is make sure your battery's charged up or two, make sure you have your USB charge cable plugged in and charging while you're doing this update. The main thing you don't want to happen is your radio to turn off during the flash process. That can definitely cause you more issues than you want to deal with. So that's how you're going to reflash back to a previous firmware version. If you appreciate this video, go ahead and push like. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.